it, folks. Woo! <laughs> Overload the Overload. audio. <laughs> Actually, that was on to us. Right, I'm so, so, <laughs> so welcome, guys. Uh, we are back after a very long time. Call um, us a hiatus or um, something. We're going to do, we're going to talk about more magic stuff today. Basically, we've got been re, we've been kind of moving away from game, video games and going a lot into magic and a lot of time and money. <laughs> Let's this. not talk about money, shall we? <laughs> um, so, yeah, right. we the new set that's just come out in the horizon. We're just going to spend a little bit of time, probably about half hour, talking about uh, our favourite bits from it, giving it a little bit of a review, and then hopefully, if it works out, we'll just keep doing this for every set. We also, because technically, in two, just to date this video a bit, in two days in England at least, we've got the uh, what was it called again? Jumpstart. The Jumpstart stuff coming out. So, when that comes out, we'll probably get a few packs and give them a go. Yeah, basically, that's the plan. So, uh, I guess we'll start with... Wait, I think we should start with saying, we don't play, uh, we, we mainly play Commander these days. Oh yeah, we, we started on Modern. Yeah, um, and we, we only really, we, we're not really that, we're not that new to it, but not exactly, you know, veterans, shall we say. We, yeah. we started playing in Core, Core, Core 19, 19. Core 19. But obviously then, we played like, yeah, way back when as well. Before. I think I played when the first Ravnica set came out, and I just gave up, because I was too young. So, <laughs> did I stand it properly? Yeah. There's some fucking good vampires in that set, though. Ooh. A lot of the, um, yeah, so because of that, we, me and Josh both got the new Commander set, which yeah. are both the pre-cons, a lot cheaper. They're 19 each or two for, what was it? It was like two for 35. Two for 35 yeah, quid. Like um, they're a lot cheaper than the standard ones you get, mainly because a lot of, you only get like three new cards in them. Um, but they're beautiful. But we've both used them, and actually they're still... Really, I mean, that's I they're solid. Really yeah, they're really good for the, for the money you get and efficient as well, aren't they? You don't feel like I never, I never missed a land drop because I was ramping so well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've got, I bought the sneak attack. You bought, you haven't bought the other man. We, we can kind of yeah. go through. So, um, do you want to do yours first? Because you played yeah, yeah, so my one. <laughs> it's a blue black kind of um, rogue set. The it. Works around mainly the commander, which is Anna One, and he basically works around Millen, which these guys absolutely love. <laughs> I'm very against Millen. Yeah. I think so, everyone is. Yeah, um, he basically works a lot of it, it, very similar to ninjas actually. Is mm. um, cheap cards to get out, making them unblockable, going in for the attack, and then using Anna One's ability to mill. I feel like that's like just your thing, isn't it? It's like I want cheap things out, so I don't have to worry about the mana Sneak as much. Is so I, I don't want you to block, thing. so we dick you about even more. Um, and even out of flying bloody dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, likes to attack and it would be difficult to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the new the new cards you get in this are well, yeah, the, right. the hundred and so the, the deck value this is a kind of a rough I think it was from I think the beginning it, of October. Was it went oh so you went to Yeah, yeah. So this okay. is this and this is in dollars day. originally. So it was hundred six dollars they said it was eighty one quid, deck's ninety nine ninety one, obviously nineteen ninety nine. You get a lot of reprints in there, but the reprints are good. And they work yeah, like one the... of them was like a commander staple. You got uh, yeah. that one that you want, the fairy. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what's her name? Go to the deck list and we'll look. Yeah, so the... Uno is it? No. Yeah, Una. Una, 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 Una the fairy. I mean, she. So like, she's a fantastic commander by herself. <laughs> Good commander. And that's like, a... you, you could definitely have that as a com the commander. And the only thing I would say, so if we go, if I find Una, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. I think if you were going to have. Yeah, if you did fairy tribal instead that of would work a lot. Tribal, that would look work a lot better than good. having her. Yeah, but you'd, you'd need a, a cheeky bit of blossom. Mm. Which, let's be honest, everyone needs a cheeky bit of blossom. Yeah, well, well, I basically, I took this deck and spent a lot, what, 25 quid on it? Yeah. Bought a, a few things in there. It's not, it's not, it's not fun. It's, good. it's not fun. Well, no, it's, it's, it's a good deck, but it doesn't, it doesn't, um, we don't really like, we don't really like Millen. I mean, I'm against it more than like. most, I feel, because of mine and Nathan's one experience. Yeah. We usually only play in um, our own little little group. We have little rules, don't we? Yeah, well, we have a little rules. We, you know, we don't be a complete dick unless we really want to be, which is, you know, we always want to be. But we, uh, me, Rory, and our friend, well, sorry, <laughs> Nathan and our friend Rory, I'll get there eventually, mm. uh, we we went out to, you know, jam, hang out for a bit and stuff and uh, went to this our local nerd shop and this guy asked us for a game of command. Like, yeah, sure, why not? We, you know, we got, we got, uh, we brought our decks with us, and I went up to Nathan. I was like, "Did you uh, use your sliver deck? Yeah, <laughs> just so to I be a dick." <laughs> have a sliver overlord deck, and it is it's sliver tribal, and it's it's good, very mm. efficient. 
I haven't put too much into it because it's already just pretty good. We yeah. need a lot of work. You just need to do this. Oh, <laughs> you're not wrong. I was looking up like what the best because we we play a lot of tribes and what the best just commander tribes are. Oh, it's slivers, isn't it? Every single list slivers is top. Right. Everyone else like it's just slivers, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, it's because just, like slivers they work so well. They're just good. Yeah, there's, there's it's not really... a bad sliver because whatever the ability is, all the other ones will get it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so. Um, we we started playing the game and stuff, and then I was using my Liliana zombie tribal deck. Rory this was, was using. It was complete though. Yeah, well, he so didn't need to know. Did he didn't he? know that, <laughs> that he was milling a person without a complete. Deck. Yeah, so I ended up having to mill my entire deck in technically three turns, I think, because what yeah. happened was he had an he infinite, had infinite, turns, infinite turns, essentially. And he, I can't remember what the card was, but basically, I'd have to mill three cards if a creature with the same color as a creature before was milled. I have to mill another three, and it's it's mono black. So I was just yeah. milling constantly. And it was, I just hate it. I think that's the thing as well. Like, no, shut blue, down. Blue our game is brilliant. If if you're going competitive, brilliant. But if you just want to have fun, I think the annoying thing not, was in the end, not, he, like the guy can't just say it. Goes, oh, I didn't know you were, you know, you weren't playing seriously. I would have played a different deck. It's like, why the fuck would that be the first deck you pick up yeah, for any game? The most serious. But then you were like, making play serious. Yeah, because so I'm a dick. Game. We all know this. <laughs> I'm about giving people pay, not myself. But yeah, he that was a very expensive deck. Yeah, his, his blue deck was very because his entire deck was basically milling was himself good. out as well, and then he had a lot of alternate wing cons, infinite turns. Like that was just a very efficient deck. I think it was the only thing. So going back to this precon, one of the new cards that you get is is I'm actually going to get one from my ninja as well. I think because yeah. it works pretty. Much. It's a two a two mana and then a one black, whisper steel dagger. Um, a crypt creature gets plus two, um, plus two, plus zero. Whenever a crypt creature deals damage, combat damage to a player, you may cast a creature spell from that player's graveyard. Which, when we're playing against Josh, he always has gems. Should I shall I count a few of my gems actually whilst I'm here? So yeah, generally he plays black. Uh, I, always, black I always play black. No, and it's, no gems. It's, it's completely revolved around reusing the graveyard. Um, and yes, love that. Yeah, no, I have a. And you have a lot of love. Yeah, I have a reanimated deck as well with uh, Merin. And you and also when and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any colour to cast a spell. So if you say there was I don't use green, but he had like a deck of the green monsters, I could use any mana and I could just play, big old, play big old things. And then you but there's Where one creature we? that deals with. And of course the caterpillar. Oh, I, <laughs> it's, I, hate it's that card. I hate that card so he much. He replaced a lot of I enchantments. Hate, fucking, no, you uh, wanna get that off. <laughs> of course the caterpillar is in my reanimated deck. And him and Spore Frog, they is that do, definitely recording by the way? They do big work. Sure. Yeah, yes, it is a cat. Yeah. and Spore Frog. Right. You just you play him for one mana, and then because you don't need one experience count on Merrin, you just have him return to the battlefield and sacrifice him again. That's the thing. On its own, this might be things you're thinking. Why, why would you have that? Think thinking. thinking. What well, you, you wouldn't yeah, generally have, have that in your deck, but when you've got Merrin, yeah. and I think I got caught in a loop. No, was it with this one or was it with it the was other the Spore one? Frog. Spore Frog. I'll get Spore Frog. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is like a Garrick tribal, but everybody kills all my green big boys, so I made it into a reanimated deck, and it's hilarious. When are you? There's one. So anyway, yeah, the three the three new cards in this deck you get are Enigma Thief, Anawan, and Whisper Steel Dagger. Both all amazing cards, um, and generally the deck works really really well. There's a couple of cards which we took out just because they're a bit too expensive. You kind of you, you want more rogues and then you don't want very expensive cards. You yeah. want to just you, you really have done your research. I've yeah, done yeah. None. I was going to say. I was, <laughs> well, actually, my next segment was going on to the other deck which you had. Oh, uh, <laughs> do you know what? I only need to tell you about one card because it was MVP and that was that bloody angel. <laughs> yeah, we had a landfall angel that exiled um, any card under the angel whenever I landed. And this one, so three, yeah. three mana and three wolf. So flying has landfall, so whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may exile target non-land permanent other than Abomination Angel. And then when she leaves the battlefield, you return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield. The, pro the problem can get was, rid of her. I could put a lot of lands down. It was, just, it was basically a board wipe. It was, they're the two sexy cards you're always talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, there, there's the old Spore Frog as well, the Troublemaker. Spore Frog prevents all combat damage <laughs> that will be dealt. So, so you, you just imagine keep recurring him each turn, Kieran goes to attack you with ninjas or rogues and doesn't do anything. No, do and the, the thing about unblocking that being well, unblocked, see, and then, then, well. then, then, then you build up a good board presence, play this guy, and then everything attacks as though it wasn't blocked and you're in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were so pissed off when that happened. The thing is, ninjas work really, really well when you can't block, but you have to deal damage for them to work. And yeah. the same with rogues, you have to deal the damage. Yeah. It's not just about not being blocked. Um, so these two oh, look those beautiful standards bastards. in Josh's 
Grey Crawler and Grey Crawler is just like a staple. And he can essentially zombies. make an infinite that he can make this one creature. Yeah, very, this very deck has got every Liliana in it. And yeah. it's yeah. You besides two. Besides two. Yeah, but you don't no, it's kind of, three of them aren't in there, but you don't really need the three in there. But I do have I need two more Liliana's a lot more. So were there but, any other cards in here? Sun Sun Titan. Sun Titan's good, but that's just a staple in white really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Josh mainly bought it because he's building a. Um, um, did you use the commander? elementals? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, the did. commander was your. Yeah, the commander around. made one of your lands into yes, an XX is... creature. Oh yeah. <laughs> so at the beginning, so it's a one. It's one red, green, a white, and then one mana. At the beginning of the combat, on your turn, up to one target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and hasten to the end of the turn where X is um, Oven's power. It's still, yeah, so these it's still two. Like, Played these decks. I played my hydras and I kicked off early. Got board wipe. Kicked off again. Got board wipe. And then I was like, right, I'm just done. <laughs> because like, cause all of my steam with, was gone. With so his I was hydras, bored, but hydras growth on his commander, which meant it was doubling his counters each turn, <laughs> and I made it very big. With, with, with his hydras, though, he has I'll do it to them. two ways to get infinite mana, yeah. which is not good. Infinite it's... mana is tasty. <laughs> when all of the spells in your deck are X cost. And but like I remember, you you had a card where it's like you had to choose between three things, and one would go in your hand, one would go in the field, yeah. one would go in your deck. No, two go in the field, one goes in your library again. Yeah, so I gave you. You gave me the two infinite mana. Yeah, ones, and then I and then destroyed died. one straight and away. Then I right? rang them back, and then I just got killed again. No, like, actually, no, wasn't it? I got, got rid white. of your commander, and then it got destroyed because they're, they're, they don't have an equipment. Yeah, there was a board wipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. That work out what card I used. It was beautiful. Best play in the game. Yeah, this was it. So this I think this was the thing that I beat. I won the first game. That was the no, extra no, turn one. Notorious throng. So <laughs> it's it's three in a blue, but the, the, obviously the main thing with rogues is you you prowl, mm. which is you pay a little bit more, and if they do damage, um, so you they can't pass it for its prowl cost if you deal damage with a rogue, and then when you do, you kind of get an extra buff. So you create X one more black rogue creatures, tokens of flying, where X the damage dealt to your opponents this turn, which if you've got like a lot of rogues and they've got added plus one plus one to every rogue on the field, yeah, you do quite a lot. Effect. And then if you do deal, dealt damage and you cast the rogue with a prowl cast, you get an extra turn after that. So I made all the fairies, have an extra turn, and they, they all lost some of their Oh yeah, so I was like, I was yeah. like, why would, they, would rogues be flying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, that, that card was beautiful. Loved it. Mm. Um, no. So, no. going away from Commander, obviously, were there any other cards in the set that you guys... Yes, there was a Hydra. <laughs> Straight in there. Straight Who would have thought a Hydra? I think it, almost every set has one, but this one's quite good. Every set does have a Hydra. Whenever a creature, well, not all of them. The was Vampire Whales one probably won't have a Hydra. No, no. So, no. Uh, hydra. There is an Ulven Wall Hydra, though. What about Hydra? Well, I think that's Olivia probably... Valdaren can make that. We've had dinosaur hydras, no, di dinosaur vampires, where Zakama, my big three-headed <laughs> dinosaur, got bitten by a vampire, <laughs> Olivia Valdaren, and then was sent to Josh's team. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost control of him. It was a bad day. To be honest. But yeah, this hydra is quite good in a hydra tribal deck because it's whenever a creature with a counter dies, he gets one of those counters, and then when he dies, he makes a token equal to that counter. So if a board wipe goes off, you can still have five this hydra. But the main theme, I think, of the deck was lands that were also spells. So they work quite well in a lot of Kieran's decks. So a few of them, I've mainly got the green one, I'm sorry people. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Anyone who doesn't like green, please look away now. Yeah, but I did pull, I do, do have three of the mythics. So there's this one, it's quite good, you just download the creatures from your graveyard, mm. or you can just play it as a land. But if you want to play that one as a land, and it not enter tap, you do have to pay two life. I think um, uh, draw loads of cards equal to that card you have from your hand side, which is quite good. That's and then the last card. one is look at the top seven cards of your library. Yeah, this one, I this, this is a very complicated one actually. Look at the top seven cards of your library and then put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Mm. If that card has a converted mana cost three or less, it enters with three counters, which is quite good. So if you fish out something little out of those, at least it's three counters. Yes. Yeah. Or it's a land. I have been listening to a few They're podcasts. There's the the Command Zone podcast. I think mm. the professor, you know, Larry from yeah. College. They basically all said that those new land, those flip ones. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> they they need to basically be in command decks. Like you, you want to do at least like three, probably the maximum you'd want in a commander deck. Mm. I think the only the only drawback to some of them is obviously some of them come in tap. But if you if you're casting them as just a land, it's just a standard land. Yeah. So obviously when you normally but cast it's that the utility, land in tap. you can draw a hand 
with one of those and a land, and you've got two lands technically. There's some, you but that's the thing. Some of the some, some of the better ones don't come into that. They're just literally just land. Yeah, the land. Yeah, yeah. So they they did have to make a lot of new rulings for how the land uh, those specific lands work. Sort of like it's like I was saying to you, it depends on how you draw it lands. as well. Yeah, Kieran's ninja commander deals damage right. when she draws cards equal to PMC. So you do have to have it on the you, sorcery so, side. Yeah, but, but yeah, would you be able to like? So if you drew that, would you be able to pick? No, no, not from your effect. From that effect, it has it, to be a turn it's flipped over on. Yeah, but yeah. when you go to play it, you pick what it is. Yeah. yeah. But like, if it's in the graveyard, from what I remember, it, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I think you can return a land from your yeah, graveyard. You, you, yeah, if it's a flip land, you can. Or sorcery. But yeah, no, they're called cool. flip lands. I don't know. The rules. Bloody hell, that's a lot of rules. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, they, they will... They had to do a lot of um, yeah. stuff for the rules because there's and so many cards that could So many cards can take take advantage of it. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So you need to kind of have a rule for every specific. Yeah, that's bloody hell. That's a lot of rules. I think there's one that I need in my. Um, there also a few of them are creatures, not just instantly sorceries as well. Yeah. So well. Like I have a mammoth land pool to draw for a land. But... Yeah, like, and the thing is, if you can get that back from hand, you, you in theory, you've got a land or yeah. mammoth again. <laughs> not that you'd need a bloody land, I'm sure, at that point. That'll be better card rulings. Not as much. Double face cards cannot be turned. Uh, turn face down with cards that could be drawn. When it's, oh, so I suppose when you turn it face, oh, because you, you, you can't flip cards, it. You can flip them. Yeah, you can't. So you can't do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah. So you won't be able to turn these face down at all. Oh, like my my werewolf spell that's transform or non transform permanent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do that. Um, the color identity of the card includes both faces. Oh, so that so if you were having um, mana. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't, it wouldn't really count as lands that didn't have no, it wouldn't be, no. But I would assume not, because otherwise... Oh, I, I mean, the, I the colour identity, so if you've got multiple colours... Yeah. Then, so, if you, in a commander, that commander game... You let's, say you had a black, colors. let's say you had a black box of colours, you'd have to oh, be so racked on commander. Yeah. When you're copying clone cards and stuff like that, it's only the side that you pick, sort of yeah. thing, or the, the card that was face up at the time. Yeah, that's what it's going to say. Like you're saying, when, when you reveal a card, if it's only the face, you, you have to reveal it, it's in the face you see. Would be so you want all of your ones, yeah. To so let's say I was revealing this side up or spell side up, not land, yeah. Side. So let's say your effect happened, I reveal yeah. a card, it would be in this case three. So you'd always pay them not a land, but you remember that you can always, switch I, them I would assume so, yeah, yeah. Unless I wouldn't see a point, I'd not them to. all in my deck as spell side up, but if but you have a lot of cards with search for lands, you wouldn't be able to search for a land if it's not, no, I don't assume that. No. So, um. No, I don't think you could, no. Yeah. So, yeah. So you, you, well, I have searched for basic lands, really. I yeah. have, like, one or two that search for basic they're not, lands. They're but not... They're cross space From what I remember... No, they're not. Okay. You can only have one of each in Commander. Okay. So, yeah, also, like... Snowlands are the only other basic lands. So, if it was in the graveyard as well, or the trash, whatever the hell they call it in Magic... Well, you can flip cards with those lands. Yeah, I know, but if you go back down, it says if it's not in play, so you would only be able to search it for a monster. Mm. Oh, sorry, a creature know, or a land. Put it down. Yeah. Depends on the situation, <laughs> just, doesn't it? It's either enters the battlefield, perhaps just a white land, or destroy or non land permanents. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong, you know, six, uh, seven, it's quite oh, sorry, expensive. eight mana, or, or three yeah. expensive. Oh, there you go, that's the one I was just talking about. Oh, yeah. It's got a hydro on the art, so yeah, it's a land. <laughs> Surf the time, would <laughs> Despicable. <laughs> Is that the one you've got? Yeah. Nice. And I've got Seagate Restoration. I didn't actually invest in. And I have the Awakening one at the bottom there. I got, I got three of them. I got the black one, the blue one, the green one. That's that's definitely a uh, so return from the graveyard to the graveyard any number of target creature cards that each have a different number of mana cost or less. It's very nice. That's a nice one to have in your deck. Yeah, I mean, things I haven't really invested in this set that much. I've no, got, no well, obviously you can buy the that pre and that's it's about expensive it. Because I, I don't like. I pulled it. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> if we sort of go back onto the Zendikar stuff, I don't I actually the like one. the party mechanic. Nah, I think Landfall's so good though. Uh, so so Zendikar was great. Yeah, I, I like the party mechanic. Just seems a bit sorry. Party mechanic. Yeah, it tries to seems make the tribal, forced. but with multiple tribes, which isn't tribal. Yeah. <laughs> but they, I think it's because lots of people love playing tribal. So they were oh, I think it's because obviously they, they, they have. They're not doing a core set this year. They're doing a D and D set, mm. which is why I think they've done this. Um, party this party mechanic, because yeah. obviously that's what you're doing in D and D. Everyone plays different cards. Well, no. What's that? The party mechanic. Well, oh, there you go. Party control. Yeah. Party. Party would be the one. 
So oh, that's part of the control of it. That, like, <laughs> so basically, all, the whole idea is you have a, a full set of like creatures. Cleric, warrior, rogue, and wizard. Yeah, I think it is. yeah, I think so. And um, they then have effects all based around if you've got a full party, if you've got two in the party, mm. whatever the hell. Mm. But it's just like I think it's 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 very forced. A lot like this uh, other thing I'm going to talk about in a little while. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, getting ready for that bastard. Well, we could probably, I mean, we've been, we've been for a while, and you just go straight into it. So, um, go on. Right, <laughs> go so, on. So, right. another thing, obviously, they've announced, which I, has caused massive controversy. I'm a big zombie player. If they ain't dead, oh. I'll play it. It's not. <laughs> they ain't dead. It's not. Like, what happened was that noise? Oh, it's, it's still, still recording. Carry on. Anyway, anything dead, I'll play it. You know, vampire zombies, regardless. These new bloody... Oh, not dead. Walking Dead. I haven't got any sneak peek. I mean, I'll not put, sneak peek. What they called secret, secret lair. lairs. Go die a fucking death. I think the big issue. Is, I still won't play them then either. The big issue is when they tend magic. When they tend to do this, they make them silver bordered, and they haven't done that. Yeah, I They've mean, made them legal, which is the thing. There, there is petitions now going to make them illegal in Commander. And also, I mean, yeah. I I understand. But the rules committee said no, it's fine. Yeah, because. Let's be honest. They're it. still greasing the palm of fucking. Yeah. Um, like, I, why? It's not why, no. I, I I know why. Not it's not because it's, it's obviously money. it's money. Yeah, it's, it's making money. But it's like collectors will collect. That's what we do. We're heathenous bastards. You know, like the the Godzilla stuff. Uh, I think did our friend Rory he bought some of the Godzilla land. Didn't he? Oh, very expensive. Yeah. He doesn't even actually like Godzilla that much, but he bought them nonetheless. Yeah. I think that there's a bit and I understand of... that sort of thing. It's like, oh, it's it's a different it's a different yeah, the, card. The thing but with it's the, 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 the Godzilla picture. cards as well, even the creatures <laughs> that you can play and stuff, they have two names. So if you buy the Godzilla one, it's actually already a legendary creature with Magic Gathering art, yeah. or you can get a different version where it's a Godzilla creature. Yeah, I would be okay with that if they were like, oh, this is like I, have I don't know, Chuckle Rex. Fuck, Rex. but it's actually Michonne. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't invest with the, in the Walking Dead one, but I would go and then grab the the other version, not actually Michonne. Yeah, I think the really shit. version. But um, the yeah, I would do that. And, and apparently they're going to do it someday, yeah, which could they, mean they fucking be never. out first, and then they yeah. should do a yeah, version. Yeah, version. But the, th- the thing I don't get is uh, apart from the zombies, for me, uh, they're called walkers. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the walkers. It says like Walker zombie token. Yeah. <laughs> the set just doesn't fit in with the theme of magic. I, I was saying no, it, if, the Dungeon Dragon one won't either. That's the thing. Well, the, actually, to say that it, it depends it how would. they do it. It would because they've got because you Almost have rogue types, creatures, you have, that you, go you have goblins, yeah. you have humans. You know. Yeah. It, okay. It depends on what they call it. If they go, oh, it's Magic Gathering Dungeons and Dragons. Nah, it's got to be like you've got you, you know Zendikar Rising. That's a a a, a, a law. At land, it's a plane. Plane, sorry, a yeah, little plane. You know, D and D is not a fucking plane. It's it's a game. Yeah, I know. And we've played it. Yeah. We've experienced it. But yeah, they'll have to. They just need. It'll either be like the level up mechanic, and more of this party stuff. Something yeah. like that will probably be how they do. It. Or like saving throws with dice and stuff. Well, no, that because yeah. that's all in the um, unstable stuff. That's yeah, what that's dice, all about. Yeah. I don't know if I get that up. And then obviously after that they've got. Uh, I forget what it's called. They have. Um, the, the Harry Potter one, where it's in di- there's like five different coloured schools of magic in this Yeah, plane. it's where that Teo guy's from, with yeah. the shield. Yeah. The magic one. There it is. Oh, I don't want to see that. Don't Actually, know. no, I do want to see it. I want to see what, because I haven't seen all their... Daryl like... is so good against <coughs> okay, Daryl, at the beginning of your upkeep target, a, um, opponent creates three walker tokens, which, for a green-red deck, I don't think that works. Um... Well, it's an opponent. Yeah, it's, oh, opponent. Yeah, yeah. And then so he kills everything. Daryl deals two damage to target creature. If you tap him, whenever a zombie, a and, zombie, but whenever an controls you dice, kill a zombie, a you draw a card. Right. So that's why you give someone zombies so that you can draw three cards. Mm. So I see. So basically, Josh, it's a card drawing machine. So you, they could also yeah. mill you like yeah. no one's business. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd make them grow two, or make them produce two zombies. The two twos. Then you tap him, you destroy one. Yeah. I won't lie. The Air quotes, Walker tokens do look cool. Yeah. I was going to say, I and they're all walkers like them. from the series as well. Like the one they drag up from the well, yeah. the one that Rick Grimes goes to shoot, the one in that weird junkyard place. 
Well, but like I'm not fussed love, about I any of the they, legendary they creatures. <laughs> Michonne what, what is quite interesting as well. Again, he died of death, from what I remember. See a lot of as well. Josh probably hates them as well because a lot of them give us workarounds for zombies. Yeah, so I think even I think all of them. Michonne do. does. Glenn, do? and Glenn is like a. I think he's sort of like a rogue, isn't he, or something like that? Uh, Scott, this creature, creature can't, can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. That's fair enough. Whenever Glenn deals combat damage to a player, draw a card equal to its power. Okay. That's not that good. No, you're not too mind. broken. No. But card draw in white. I wouldn't have... I, yeah. You can fuck off. Michonne is a battle <laughs> creature. You always open as long as Michonne is equipped. She must be blocked if able. Whenever Michonne at least two zombies attack, she gains an instructor one until the end of the turn. So she, yeah, she forces... Because didn't she used to have zombies with her in the show? Yeah, she has I'd to, never properly to watch it. do that she uses. She'd cover herself in zombies. This, for this, 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 this is the zombies card. Zombies without which... teeth and yeah. arms so they couldn't hurt her. And she'd walk around in hordes of zombies. So what you're saying is she would get some of zombies' head and clippers, pull out all their teeth. Yeah, well, she just knocked the jaws out. This is, oh, the, okay. <laughs> this is the card for me that I feel should be like in the Unstabled set. Because they should all be. Enters the world, this particularly, because you and the target opponent each secretly choose a creature that player controls. Then those choices are revealed and the player sacrifices those creatures. It just feels like it's... Oh, a, I think there are other cards that do that sort of hard. stuff, though, yeah. from what I remember. Anyway. What does um, uh, Rick yeah. Grimes? That's not that's not that one. That is fake. Um, <laughs> come on, Ricky boy. Rick is really good for Kieran. Yeah. Is what I remember that's reading. Very small. Because uh, <laughs> like all of your Gideon, as well, Rick does the battlefield, choose two abilities from among first strike or against yeah, life link. Was human to yeah, control yeah, have each of the chosen abilities. Well, as long as you control four or more humans, humans. That. It is really good, and I'll give you that. And for you, you can choose whether your creatures have first strike vigilance. Well, I, 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 I just. It, but you can't it, buy it. You just can't. No, Otherwise, we can't. I'd buy Daryl and put him in the well. I don't, I, would, I don't think we can, any of us. The can thing is, I would buy the stuff just to burn it. I'm so against it. So, what was the previous secret layers? Secret layers was, the, um, secret layers was like uh, uh, one International Women's Day. You had was the Year of the, one, year of the Rat. Had the land. There was, yeah, like that. the Year of the Rat one, brilliant. Rory's Rat Tribal Commander deck is hilarious. Yeah. I love that. Those ones are fine. I have no problem with just Yeah, the old Women's Day one arts. was really cool. Alternate Arts with a lot of the commanders that we want. Like Merrin has one, Una has one. Yeah. But it's like, don't sell out like this for fuck's sake. Yeah, I mean, good. you have. You have already sold out, let's be honest, but come on. I mean, the hate that they're getting on um, on any social media platform, yeah. they're just getting slaughtered. I mean, you can understand it though, can't you? Mm. Why, why would you? It it because it, it's basically it's like the um what's the, what's the word when you sort of it's the start of the end. Beginning of the end. Be- yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said it pretty much. Just, just the beginning. Yes. Yeah, begin- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do words good, me. Um, yeah, it's the beginning of the end when it comes to magic people are feeling. It's like, if they can do this, where they've promised numerous amount of times this will never happen, and now they're mm-hmm. doing it, what do you think they're going to do next? People are like, oh, it's going to be Pickle Rick now. Which, if I was actually honest, if they do Pickle Rick, I'm going to give up. No, Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Haven, which is the Harry Potter Horizon Star. was that one, then you got Cald- <gasps> Next one's Caldheim. Caldheim. That's uh, Viking. Yeah, it's, 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 it's allegedly like Garrett's See, this, this, this I'm allegedly. excited for. Allegedly. No one actually knows his plane. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get invested Big in that creatures. One. I want to uh, see what they do with Garrett's it Garrett's axe would better be an artifact. Like in a strat werewolves, not final name. Harry Potter, School of Magi- Mages. <laughs> so this is this basically all werewolves, the one coming in September next year? Yeah, so you've got two coming out at the same it's time. Coming out in Vibes. September, it's my birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because I have a werewolf commander deck, and they're so hard to get to work <laughs> in commander. So you, I need a good werewolf commander. I mean, yeah. the thing is, though, this set's going to have some good dragons. I mean, it's called and Dungeons I'm all, and Dragons. I know all about that. So. Well, and a good Hydra, probably, because Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Do you know if. <laughs> Hydra I, in every set, I feel like. They, I not think always. it is. I'm oh, pretty sure it is. No, not always. Oh, which one hasn't? Icoria, because he's in the Commander set. Fuck off. No, there was uh, Dominaria, I think, don't have to have a Commander. I'm pretty sure it did. What's Strixhaven School of Magic? It's, it's Harry Potter School of Magic. That's the Teo guy. Oh, right. So... Yeah, it's it's so there are meant to be five different coloured... Five different schools for each colour of magic. So, Harry Potter? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So... And then they're hoping for, like, a Telerian that's college. A good ex- that's that's yeah, a good example one. of what they probably should have done with with 
Walking Dead. Like it's linked to Harry Potter, but it's not. They yeah. haven't just said, "Oh, this is Ron. This is Harry." <laughs> I bet they fucking will, though. <laughs> well, they Here's Hermione. Look at her titties. <laughs> you know. <Okay. laughs> I'm especially looking forward to Powder Home. I think. Yeah. Honestly, I think the next two, like, if they do, spiking. if they do Harry Potter properly. I don't you want know. to see any more wizards in Magic the Gathering. I'm wizard. done with wizards. <laughs> just blue wizard tribe and yeah, fuck itself. So. I'm done. I don't even want to see so, the wizards. So, I mean, the end. we started in Core 19, so overall this set, compared to our sets we previously bought, what, where does this rank? What are we So I'm looking at all of the... Really cool. I'm looking at yeah. all the code names for these fucking sets. So you've got Water Spark, Milk, nice, solid. Uh, <laughs> Throne of Eldrain, Archery. <laughs> Meatballs with Ravnica Relations. <laughs> Theros, <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> You can tell it's an American fucking uh, cover. Ham and eggs was Ixalan. Why was <laughs> Ixalan? <laughs> Barrel and Lar. Tears and fears. Shattered, shattered over in a shot with tears. Yeah, that's fair enough. It would just mean fears. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. That's why I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies came back. They're all good. Yeah. They're good boys. The grave crawler came along. Beautiful bastards. I, I really didn't like the Ravnica stuff. I wasn't too. But Ravnica Allegiance. I, that the thing is, we we put a lot of money into the world. Uh, I put did. a lot of money you into the set. Money, that's it. Um, but in the end, actually, the one like War of the Sparks, shit set. It really, you think of it. I really enjoyed it. I've got a lot of good stuff in that. Problem is, it broke magic for a while, and they just gone yeah. out of set, out of rotation, haven't they? Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't War of the Spark. No, I was thinking, War of the Spark. I was thinking of it. it was Theros Beyond Death? That was my favorite set. Up. Yeah, me and me and Keanu went put any money on the box either. on that. We got good cards out of good that. Cards. I haven't put money. I think last one I I think Throne of Eldraine I got a box. That was the last one you I got. Two boxes, didn't you? No, just one. No, just one. Yeah. You called OK to Broco. Yeah, no, then we, I've we, lost we, OK to Rory. Have you? Yeah, oh, yeah Rory's put a lot of money into a lot of the recent sets. Josh yeah. from Josh and Rory put the most money into Dominaria. Yeah, oh, I was just, less, ruined. less not. I put a fair the bit wound is still there. Just oh, what? what? I, I was trying to get um, to fairy greater, so I thought, fuck, I'll just buy boxes. Because I'm dumb. I don't buy singles. Why the fuck would I, you know? But you never wanted to play him, you just wanted him. I wanted to sell him, yeah, because he was like 40, 50 quid at the time. Mm. Well, when did you and buy you a box? Khan like, well. You wanted Khan. Yeah, I, wanted, yeah, I was going to play Khan. Khan's cool. But yeah, uh, so I was trying to get uh, to fairy and stuff. Couldn't get him. I had like four or five boxes left. And then um, Rory comes along, buys a box, gets one. Buys a few packs, gets another one. Mm. Buys another one. Buys a few more packs, gets another one. It's like, you can go fuck yourself at this point. I've still got one somewhere. You can go fuck yourself at all. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got one. But in like, we, me and me and, uh, me and and Nathan bought two boxes each of War of Spark. No, I bought one box. Uh, well, yeah, sorry, one box each, sorry. My, my English is not good. No, you bought two. I bought one and I bundled. Oh, that's right, yeah. Either way. Beautiful fucking boxes yeah, we, we did got. Very well. We got two Nicol Boluses and two Lilianas. Two Lilianas. Oh. I got two Nissas as Beautiful. well. No. Yeah. Who's, got, who's the Nicol Boluses then? You sold them. We sold them. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Mm. We ain't about that. Rory tried. Rory brought one of mine and tried. Rory. Poor Rory. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna watch this. <laughs> um, so <laughs> a I set think... not on there is Double Masters though. I think that's. I think or, it would be in there somewhere, but or, I don't think it's a. Which was an expensive set, set, but like it had some gems. We like, definitely, we definitely it had got the gems. all of the reflection. You go. Mod, so you got Modern Masters, Eternal Masters, Iconic, Ultimate, and Double. So like, which was the one we got recently? Was that Double, double Masters? Yeah. So we one, yeah. we literally so made bank on Double Masters. <laughs> yeah, our booster box, like box toppers, were the Jace in Ultimate Art. Um, and the force of will, force of will, and art. So that paid over the amount we paid for the box. Yeah, in two cards. Just selling them is the issue. Mm. Yeah, we're still on that now. Because I'm sorry, I am not holding that fucking card and using yeah. that in a game. Yeah, no, it's broken. But it's like it's been triple sleeved. It's got one of the big I was so sad I missed out on cases. That yeah, but it had all the reflection. So like, um, it's like mana reflection, and then it's the one that gives you like double life, stuff like that. They're all yeah. really good. Wound reflection. Um, I can't remember what the life is, but yeah, mana reflection is one. That one makes you, it just doubles the effect of all of them. So, like, gives creatures double strike is um, like rage reflection, and then mana reflection is double mana. Wound reflection is whenever they take damage, they would then take double that amount of damage just later from any source. They're all really good. Solid cards. And then doubling season, which is beautiful, it's in the Hydras. And if you would create a token, you create two tokens. Isn't also New Dinosaur? Like without as well. counters. Uh, you get double the amount of counters, it switches in and out. Oh, I thought we had two. Oh, right. 
Oh, so you switch in between whatever yeah. deck you want, isn't it? Yeah. It's Fair expensive, enough. and I can't afford another one. <laughs> but yeah, there's been a lot of cool mechanics added to Magic recently, but some of them have broken the game a little bit. Such as? Well, the Flipland's are really cool. Companions broke standard for a bit, then they fixed them. No, they just banned a few cars to fix them. No, the, the Companions weren't banned, they just made it so... I thought standard, that black-white like one green. was banned. No, no. You sure? Yep. You sure? Yep. Huh. They just made it so you have to pay three mana to bring him in. Bring him out from companion zone. But wasn't into you already three mana anyway? Yeah, and then you have to pay three mana to play him. Oh, so he specifically goes into your hand. Yeah, well, all of the companions in standard do that. So your command, your one in, in commander standard, does. Standard. That's yeah. bollocks. Standard. They banned Uro Titan Mage Strike, which I have. Which oh, from. Uh, yeah, they banned him day one, wasn't it? Like, oh, no, no, one. he's just been banned recently. Yeah. He is completely broken. He was completely legal. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he yeah. He was legal yeah. during the like Omnath stuff that's going on at the moment. So they banned him because it was too much with Uro. Well, Uro and Omnath. Because Omnath, the new Omnath is one of the most broken cards along with Uro. I did watch some YouTubers, like quite competitive MTG YouTubers, played MTG Arena standard, but as if none of the bans had happened. So they were playing Uro, like. Omnath. With Omnath, who isn't banned at the moment, Oko, um, Omnath. Once Upon a Time. Omnath which is, is uh, Locus Creation. Yeah, on, like Once Upon a oh, Time. Oh, this is the one you've got. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, I got him. You he got him, yeah. Him, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's broken. You've got a bank card. No, no that's, that's not, not banned. He's still playing. Who are You've got a bank card. I've got a bank card, okay. And Josh has a bank card. Do I? Yeah, Oko. No, I don't know where he is, so I have not know. Oko should be banned. He's yeah. great. <laughs> I mean, um, who, who doesn't want to change his Black Lotus into a 3 3 0 kit and win the game? Yeah, yeah. Um, There's a lot of things. But, um, but yeah, just like that card, Once Upon a Time, which is if it's your first card you play, like this game, it's free. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, somewhere. Yeah, I'm exactly. making a. Um, a broken one. You know, I'm putting that yeah. in my Dingle deck anyway. Looking to wrap so, this up, obviously, we've really enjoyed the new set. Mm. Um, I would definitely. If, I mean, oh, to be fair, I didn't really get into the, 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 the new set. Apart from the commander, the commander that, yeah. but I would say that they're definitely worth it. Oh yeah, ninety ninety nine. Yeah, definitely buy them. Yeah, the other ones are like thirty five odds. Say, but you get all of the cards that are staples in commander decks, like um, what I would like to. Rocks what and, I would like to do. Don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I'll put it out there. You never know; it might happen. As and when the the new commander decks come out, I would like to give them a go, even if it's just like one. We you know have one each. Give it a go, see what it's like. It's expensive. I don't mind putting the money in. But you do get things no, because like, I I would do it if if yeah, first deck I was interested in mm. yeah. At the nineteen ninety nine ones I'd do because if we can get like two for thirty yeah, quid, yeah. One, I got my new hybrid commander who is a gem. So this is like, <laughs> I just like the idea of showing people like, if they did or not, and we can have at the end a little a conversation of is it worth yeah. this deck? Well, all right, deck. out of the two of ours, which do you think would be? I know that the sneak I think your, is slight, your sneak deck is more valuable. Your deck's probably better because you can kick off quite quick. I mean, mine can as well, but like, mm, if you're right, yeah. Back, yeah. But um. I think what was it? Command Zone. They said they gave them you a twenty-five dollar um, upgrade, and they said this makes it competitive, mm. which is more or less what I did. Some yeah, of the so you only have to pay under value. fifty quid for a competitive commander deck, which is really, really nice. Yeah, so you can. Oh well, I'm doing something wrong, I think. <laughs> so should we end it there? Yeah. yeah, we can go for one. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll do more of this stuff later, um, another time. Uh, we'll record some more Magic games. We we'll do Jump Start. Um, we'll do Planes Chase, and when the next set comes out, we'll probably review that as well. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Later.